So you want to let AI do the work for you? NADEN, the automation tool that you need to install on your PC locally right now. Then the next step is to connect LM Studio to NADEN to get that AI integration. So are you ready to get your hands dirty? Watch this video until the end and I'll show you how to install NADEN, how to install LM Studio, how to connect these ones to each other and build your first AI workflow. To install NADEN, we're going to use Podman Desktop to run NADEN in a containerized environment. So let's download Podman Desktop first. Alright, we're using Windows. Download it. And let's open it. Install. And now it's time to finish and run Podman Desktop. Alright, when you open Podman, you will see the following. And we're going to click Setup. We could not find Podman, let's install it, so let's do that, click on next, alright, hit yes, I'll use the Windows Linux subsystem on WSL version 2, so let's install it, and click close, next, and you're done, now it's time to open the command line, so let's do that, and we're going to run the following command, podman dash dash version. If it prints a version, you know that podman is correctly installed. Now let's run the next command, podman compose dash dash version. And as you can see, it prints the version. Alright, now it's time to go to naden.io and we're going to click the docs. So let's click on the following, choose the right naden for you. Go to options and we are going to run it self-hosted with docker well we use podman but that's almost the same as docker so and then we're going to use the docker compose file and you can find it in the n8n hosting repository so we're going to download it let then hosting And as you can see, here's the docker compose file. We're going to use this one with Postgres. But first, we are going to edit this one. For me, links didn't work because it is a deprecated feature. And I also want to use my own downloads folder. So, that is this one. Let's open a new one. All right now, I copy the path of the downloads folder and I'm going to put it there. And I create also the n8n storage folder. And I'm going to make another folder called data. So I can use this path, data, and we are going to use it for data. Okay, so file, and you can save it. All right, so now we created two volumes called N8N storage and data. And what that means is that these folders are persistent on our hard disk and all the other files of this docker compose file are going to run inside the container which are not persistent but stateless so that means that uh, if you save a file there and you run the container again you lose the file okay so the next thing we are going to do is we are going to use our command line and we are going into our downloads folder we we'll change directory so make sure that uses ranks downloads is the same as the address that you got here, you can also copy this one and use change directory and paste it here into this one. Then you are also in that directory. So now let's see what's in there. And as you can see, there are the folders, data and n 8 storage, which we are going to use as a volume. And this is the repository that contains the Docker Compose file. So let's change directory into our n8n hosting 
folder. Let's see what is there. And you can go into Docker Compose. Then we are going to use the Postgres. Postgres is the database of Anitan, so that's also a part that will be persistent on your hard disk. But that's for all the Anitan configuration. So let's clean the command line by hitting CLS. And here you can see our Docker Compose file that we have been editing. Now you can run the following command, podman compose up. Ah, and as you can see, there's a invalid character, so let's fix that one. And it says that there's an invalid character, and I already see it. Because the container runs in WSL, so that means this part is inside the container. Same for this part. And under the hood you use Ubuntu. So that's why you need to use the other slash. Okay, let's save it. Now it's time to start our container. You can do that by hitting the following command. Docker compose up with dash detach. And there you go. It's downloading the NATN container right now. Together with the Postgres database. So let's wait a moment. And boom. You can hit Podman PS to see if your containers are running. And if they are running, you can go to the following localhost at port 5678. And here you can set up your own NATM account. All right, and click get started. Hit skip, and there you go. Boom, and it then it's up and running right now. We can start creating our workflow. But before we do that, we're going to install LM Studio to make sure that we can connect an AI LLM model into our workflow. Okay, now let's go to lmstudio.ai and download LM Studio. All right. Now let's open it, install LM Studio. Okay, and then you can hit run LM Studio. And as you can see, I already installed LM Studio before, so I got some chats here. First of all, you can go to Discover. You can search, for example, for a model like Gamma 4B. And as this one. Normally, there's a download button that you can use. I already downloaded it before, so I can use it in a new chat for example and then it's going to load the model but because we need to connect LM Studio to NADN we're going to the developer mode and as you can see there is a server that you can run so normally the status is stopped and you can use the toggle to turn the server on I also turned on every toggle that you see here and the most important one is serve on local network because somehow when I use localhost um, I couldn't get it working because NATN is running in a container I tried all kind of things like uh, yeah what is it the host containers URL and then with the port of LM Studio but somehow it didn't work for me so when I use serve on local network it will work fine and then I can reach LM Studio from my NA10 node. Alright, so now we can go back to our workflow in NA10. So let's create a workflow. Add the first step, trigger manually. And from here on, we are going to use a basic LLM chain. Alright. For now, we are going to define 
a prompt so let's say what is the capital city of Belgium and if we execute that step it cannot execute it because it doesn't have a model so the next thing we are going to do is we're going to add an OpenAI chat model and here we need to create credentials so let's click that one the API key can be anything because Allen Studio doesn't use any API key so you can just type something organization ID that doesn't matter and here we are going to use the URL that we got in LM Studio. So let's copy this one, paste it, and put V1 behind it, and save it. And as you can see, connection tested successfully. That means that NA10 is from now on connected to LM Studio. So that's a good thing. Alright, and here the model that we use, we do it by ID and you can remove this. We are going to copy the model that we use here, Gemma 3 4B. And let's copy it here. And then we can go back. Now we can use another node, uh, for example, convert to file. And then I say convert to HTML. That's perfect. And then I say write to disk. And here we can say the path that is in our volume, so slash data. And we are going to call it test.html, because we had an HTML file. We go back to the canvas. And let's see. Now execute the workflow. And see what happens there we go workflow is executed successfully so let's see if we got data here and there we go this is the answer that we got from our prompt what is the capital city of Belgium and our first workflow is working so now we've just run our first workflow so I hope you learned uh, something about how to install this thing fully locally on your PC and yeah as you can see this is just a start from what a workflow can do I've read and read it that people can even make uh, text to speech convert that audio onto a video to get it with a generated image and combine it all together and build YouTube automation channels so that's the kind of stuff that you can do 